I'm surprised at how many people will not get in the game of real estate and do a deal because they're afraid of the math. But I'm telling you, a fifth grader is equipped with all the math you need to successfully calculate real estate. And at the end of the day, whether I buy a house or not really comes down to my ability to crunch one number. ROI, what is my overall return gonna be? In this video, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm really gonna break down how you figure out the ROI. I'm gonna make it stupid simple. You're gonna be able to get this, and then you're gonna know when to pull the trigger and when to run for the hills. Check it out. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. For me, this is seriously one of the most exciting videos that I can make. For you, many other people, there's sometimes a disconnect because I'm about to, this whole video is about really showing you a super stupid simple math equation. And you know what? You're coming to me all the time and you're saying, is this a good deal? How do I find a good deal? How will I know when I find a good deal? I'm like, well, there's just one little simple thing I do with a calculator to know. And I'm gonna share that with you today. The whole idea of being able to generate an ROI is for you to know whether at the end of the day, the number is acceptable or is not acceptable. If it's not acceptable, you're not making enough money. If it is acceptable, your goal is to gather money from someone and put it to work. Does that make sense? Listen, J.B. Shea, French economist, said that the secret to making more money and the secret to building wealth is just taking low-yield money and turning it into high-yield money. Like, for example, um, how many people are out there that have $100,000 sitting in a savings account earning less than 1% interest? That's like the dumbest thing that you could do with your money. Money is actually losing value at the rate of inflation, which is about 3% a year. So even though you're, you're earning one percentage of interest, you're really losing a net of 2% because it goes down 3% a year. Instead, it's like, wait a second, J.B. Shea, move money from low yield to high yield. Well, if you can move money earning 1% to 25%, is that a game changer? Yes, that's an incredible game changer. That's how you build wealth. But how do you know what percent you're actually earning? ROI stands for return on investment. And if you're watching this video and you're saying, okay, Chris, I like your videos when you're entertaining. I like the motivational stuff. I like it when I get excited. I like it when you show me the money. But you know what? The moment you show me math, I have a belief that I'm not good at math and I shut down. Don't do that. I'm showing you one simple equation. I know that you can figure this out and I want you to understand ROI is the most important mathematical figure in the entire game of real estate. I make all of my decisions, not on the color of the house, not the fancy hill that it sits on, not its potential. I make, at the end of the day, all of my decisions on one thing, ROI, return on investment, which means I'm gonna put money out, how much money is coming back. Now, before I show you the equation, just check out how simple this is. If I put out $10,000 and I'm earning 1% on my money. How much money am I making? You need to know how to do that. So how do you know what 1%, if I'm gonna make 1% a year on my $10,000, how much is that? Pull out a calculator and do this with me. Put the number of 10,000 in, that's 10000, and you're gonna multiply it by 0.01%. So in multiplying a percent, you gotta move it to the hundredth place. So you don't multiply it by one, it's 0 0.01 means 1%. And what do you get? A hundred bucks. So I put 10,000 out and the, at the end of the year, I'm getting a hundred dollars back. Is this a good investment or a bad investment? 1% is a horrible investment. But let's just say that we are getting back 10%. I'd put in $10,000 and multiply it by 0.1. That, that means 10%. And what do I get? I'm gonna get $1,000. 10% of 1,000 is $1,000. That is a better ROI. My goal is I always wanna be double digit. That's my standard. Double digit means I'm earning 15, 20, 25, 30, 35% on my money. Um, and you can't do that with 401ks and IRAs and traditional lame investment thingies. Um, they're just not designed to do that. So if that's the simple math, then what's my ROI on a property? Well, I'm gonna break it down to you really simple. If I purchased a house, so I'm gonna take, I want you to watch what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna take purchase price, so what I bought the home for, and we're gonna subtract that from the sales price. So if I bought a home for $100,000, and I sold it for $150,000, 
What's the difference there between 100,000 and what I sold it for 150? Check it out. It is $50,000. But then I've got to subtract out all of my expenses. I had realtor fees. I might have had closing costs. I had interest if I borrowed the money. And so I might be like, oh, I put in $10,000 of carpet and paint. I borrowed that money and it cost me $1,000. So now I'm $10,000 and $1,000. Then I had to pay $10,000 in closing costs. So this deal has cost me $21,000. So what's left in this math? 29 grand in this fictitious example. I bought it for 100. I sold it for 150, there was 50 grand left over, but I had 21,000 in total expenses. That leaves 50,000 minus 21,000 is 29,000. Now guys, we're talking about math and subtraction. You can do this. A fifth grader can basically be a millionaire in real estate if you understand this simple math. So then I say, okay, I made 29,000, but what's my ROI? It depends how much money you put out. Let's just say for a moment that to secure this property, you actually got someone to buy it cash. So it was a total of, let's call it even your money. Let's say you put 100 grand out there. I'll show you two, two scenarios and you're gonna love what you're gonna see here. You're gonna go nuts on this. I hope you do. If you put $100,000 and you made $29,000, and let's assume it took just one year to do this entire transaction, then here's my math. I'm going to take my 100,000 that I put out on my calculator, I'm putting in $100,000. And I'm gonna divide it by the money that I made. Actually, you have to do it the other way around. It's funny, I always kinda of do it backwards for some reason. And it tells me that 29,000 divided by 100,000 is 0.29. And if I multiply that by 100, it'll tell me the percent, which is 29%. So just to do the math again, if I take my profit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it up really simple for you. Profit divided by your outlay, how much you had to come up with, is going to equal your ROI. Now in this case, I got 29%. Now remember what I said, is 29% a good ROI? Is it a double digit? Yes. Is it a strong double digit? Guys, anything over 20% is a strong double digit. So, but this gets more exciting. This assumes that this is my annual ROI. Now let's assume that I did this deal in six months, not 12. Then I would actually take the number of 29 and I would multiply it by two because I did it in half the time. So 29 times two, guess what? I actually annualized, made a 58% return on my money. Let's say that I actually did it in 90 days, so I'm cutting it by a factor of four. I would take 29, I would multiply it by four, and guess what that is? That is a 116% ROI. That is no longer a double digit return, it is a what? It is a triple digit return. Now, I've saved the best for last. What I'm about to share with you is a little bit mind blowing. If any of the math went over your head, just rewind and watch it again. Repetition is the mother of all learning. So just repeat, repeat. You can repeat this same video. Here's what I wanna share with you. What if you had a partner and the partner gave you the 100 grand to do the deal? And let's say that your profit was your $29,000. They put 100 out, you made 29, and then you got to split this 50-50. You made $14,500, they made $14,500. Let's calculate their ROI and let's calculate your ROI. Why am I doing this? Because I want you to know you don't have to have money to succeed in real estate. You have to have access to money. You don't have to possess the money, you have to have access to the money. Uh, if you can get this, this is how you become a multi, multi, multi millionaire. So please pay attention right here. Um, watch this, their ROI. Let's just say they put out 100 grand, and if this is you, and this is them, and they put up the money, and you did the work, then let's actually take a look at this. You're gonna love this math. Um, they put 100 grand out, they got $14,000 back. So we're gonna take the 14,500, the profit, we're gonna divide it by what they put in, 
and that equals 14.5% return. But we did it over six months. So we need to double the number because it took half of the time. So if we do that, we get 29%. They made 29% on their money in six months. Is this good? Now, they made 14.5% on the money, but they made 29% annualized. You always look at it annualized. A professional is always going to ask that. Are they happy? They will do more deals with you. They earned a double-digit return. Trust me, they're going to do more. But now let's calculate your ROI. Uh-oh. You didn't put any money in. So if you got $14,500 and divide it by putting no money in, there's only, that breaks the math. That You can't do that math. So you know what your return is? Your ROI, that's supposed to be an infinity symbol that goes on and on and on forever. Can you see that? They made 29%. You made infinite. You put no money out. So then you say, well, Chris, that's amazing. But how do I calculate? I'm like, okay, how much time did you put in? Well, I put in 10 hours. Okay, if you know you got an infinite return, then take your profit of $14,500, divide that by the 10 hours you put in, and you'll see that you made, if you do that math, it's gonna show you that you made $1,450 an hour. Have you ever had a job that paid you $1,450 an hour? I hope you're starting to understand why people love real estate so much. Now, what is the takeaway? What should you be getting from this? Here's the biggest idea that took me way too long to grasp, and I believe that you can grasp this right now. The singular biggest idea that I'm sharing with you is that your goal is to learn how to take someone else's money earning a low return and put it in a different opportunity earning a big return and then get a piece of the action. That is the biggest takeaway of this video more than just calculating an ROI. Now you need to know how to calculate that ROI. You can do the math with me. But your next step, I wanna show you how I used somebody else's money to make myself $1.6 million in a four and a half year period of time. And it's coming up on this video over here. This will show you how I became financially free at such a young age. And now you can imagine the building that I'm in, the real estate that I'm done, the hundreds of homes that I'm buying this year, it's all a byproduct of mastering the math and the information that I'm sharing with you right now. This is the game changer that you've been waiting for. So do me a favor, join me on this next video, watch exactly how I did it, and then copycat me. Do the exact same thing. And on that next video, it'll show you how to get a free copy of my book, The Straight Path to Real Estate Wealth, that literally weighs it all out. Now, I give you the book for free, I just ask that you cover the shipping. Uh, because I give this book away, as long as I have it in stock, I give this book to uh, as many people as I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was meaningful and impactful for you. It's some of the most powerful knowledge that I can give you as a beginner investor to really understand how this whole game works. Um, if you liked it, it would mean the world to me if you would smash that like button. It tells the YouTube algorithm to share this video with other people and helps other people learn who I am and what I'm about. And my goal is real simple. I wanna have 10 million subscribers. I wanna help as many people as I can. And if you hit the like button, you're helping me out. Thank you so much for watching this. Join me on this video right now. You're gonna wanna watch it. It's gonna show you how I did it and how you can do it too. Take care, my friend.